This week, we are going to be working on a small organization project. Since I've been down in the studio, I've been buying little bits, literally, to work on the projects I have coming up, along with small fasteners and other small items. And I've never really had a good way to organize this kind of thing. I've always liked the concept of those industrial drawers and machine shops that are like one and a half inches tall and when you slide them open they just have rails that go the entire length and there's little dividers that you can put in them and set lengths and you can put anything in them like small drill bits, small taps, small reams and then label them and have a really good organization system. And while I think a drawer system like that would be great in the workshop, I really didn't outfit the studio to have anything like that. So we're going to take inspiration from that idea and we're going to design little containers that meet the same criteria, but I can print on my 3D printer. So I think the container is going to have a width of about one and a half inches. I think I'm going to make them a little bit less than an inch tall and I'm going to make a couple different sizes. We're going to start off with a four inch long pocket. I think that's the best thing to explain it as. Uh, and that will fit all of the drills and items that I have already bought. And I'm going to call that the one U size, a one unit size. From there, I'm going to divide it in half and then multiply it by one and a half and two. So I'll end up with something that has a pocket of two inches, something with a pocket of six inches, and something with a pocket of eight inches eventually. And the idea is since they're all multiples of each other, I can rearrange them differently in kind of a grid pattern. And on the bottom of each of these pockets, I will have a label. And I already have a label maker. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the width of the label and make sure that I can have enough print space for me to just print out a bunch of labels at once and then stick them on each one of these containers. I think the last thing I want to do, because I've had little pockets and little things like those horrible organizers, well, this, this is a perfect example of what I want to do. On the bottom corner of all of the pockets, um, I want to add a radius so that when you so that when you have to reach in and grab something, you have that radius to easily grab it instead of like digging into the corner. And now that I'm looking at this, this these little dividers inside of here are exactly what I want to do. This is a little bit too tall than what I want. So I'm gonna shorten it down, but basically it's gonna be very close to this width. These already have little organizi organizers. These already have, these already have little dividers in them, but instead of having long ones that you divide into sections, we're just going to pre-make them into the lengths that I want. I'm not gonna show the design work or printing out of the containers, primarily because it's basically just a broken up version of what I'm holding in my hands. So we will do a jump into the future when I have all of those finished. And like that, we are back. And I'm not gonna lie to you, they're actually sitting behind me the entire time. I had already designed these and printed them out. And then I found that container, which I got the inspiration from, which I thought was a little amusing. Those are a little bit wider. Those were like two inches wide. These are one and a half inches wide. Like I said, they're 0.8 inches deep um, and they're broken up into the four, two and six inch sections. And they are fantastic. They are exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to take a second and drop a couple items in here. These are four millimeters. And then you go with that one. Instead of having to have them in bags and then they're nicely cut open, just put them in the little container. If I need one, I can easily grab one out. If I drop one into another container, I can easily pull that one out. 
they have a little section right here that I can print a label and stick them on. The last thing I added, which I haven't made up my mind about, is I've made them slightly interlocking so they can stack. The mistake I made was I only made them stack for the size that they are. So I can put the one use on top of each other. And theoretically, I can put the half U on top of the one U size. So there's a two on top of a four. And I can even do I can do three twos on top of a two and a four on top of a six. I don't know how handy that is. I think if I do things like similar parts, like if I have a bunch of M 1.6s and they're different sizes, maybe it makes sense that I can stack them all on top of each other. And then I'll just have to dig in and find which length I want. So maybe that's pretty cool. I mean, they do a pretty good job holding on top of each other. We're not gonna have the container that has all of them on the bottom. But if I stack So I guess that's kind of neat. But yeah, I'm gonna start putting all of my little bits and my little screws into these. And we will come back in a second with a slightly more organized system of trays and no more baggies. Over here, I have my drill bits that are one and a half to five millimeter sizes. In this area, I have some 1.6 millimeter fasteners with the insert that you can heat sink into plastic, and then a couple other bits like some key stock. I have open containers for longer items and more of the one U size ready. If I need more, I can just simply print them out on the printer behind me. And I like these so much that I think I'm going to print out a large quantity of them and take them upstairs into the shop and actually use them to organize the drill bit drawer that's underneath my drill press. But I think that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to get to printing and then going upstairs and doing some more organizing. Thank you for coming along on this adventure. I hope it inspired you to do something creative. And I will see you next week. Bye.